Alright guys, what's up? So today I'm going to be explaining how you can recover your Ethereum or other tokens if you sent it to the wrong network. So this was inspired by a Reddit post that I saw. And basically what happened was this person had sent some Binance pegged Ethereum, so some BEP20 Ethereum to a Trezor hardware wallet and they never saw it. And the reason is because when you use a BEP20 token, it's going over the BEP20 network. So and the Trezor wallet is ERC20. So they were not the same network, hence he didn't see it come. So the way you fix this um, is you have to connect your wallet to MetaMask and add the BEP20 network so you can see BEP20 tokens. Um, and then from there, you're able to recover it. Now this only works if you own the private keys uh, or the wallet to the address you sent it to. So in this case, this gentleman had sent uh, his BEP20 Ethereum onto his Trezor wallet, which he owns, um, but it would not have worked if he sent the BEP20 Ethereum to, let's say, Coinbase or to Gemini or to Kraken because he doesn't own the private keys in that scenario. So, assuming you own the private keys and you own the wallet to the wallet you sent it to, you can continue with this video. So the first step we're going to do is we're going to add the BEP20 network to the MetaMask. So if you don't have MetaMask yet, just go ahead and download that MetaMask.io. But anyways, this is the information you're going to copy. You're going to go to MetaMask, go here, go to custom RPC. Once you've done that, you're going to have the option here to switch from the Ethereum mainnet to the smart chain that you just made. So click smart chain and uh, you're gonna have to add the custom token. So to do that, you're gonna go to this website. Then you're gonna go to tokens, BEP20 tokens by market cap. And these are the token contract addresses for all the tokens. Let's say for example, you sent some BEP20 chain link and uh, you don't see it in your wallet. So what you would do is copy this contract address by clicking that, go to MetaMask, add token, custom token. You paste that in and now you'll be able to see chain link tokens. Okay, so next step is if you have a hardware wallet or if you have the private keys to the wallet that you sent it to, this is the step where you would insert it. So you're gonna click on this side here, import account, and you can import your private keys here. You just type it in, or you can go to hardware and you can plug in your hardware wallet and connect it with your MetaMask as well. So in conclusion, just copy this info over and add it as a custom network onto your network section by a custom RPC. And then whatever token you lost, you're gonna to go to the BSC scan website, tokens, BEP20 tokens by market cap, and you're gonna look for it here, click it, and then you're gonna copy the address, go to MetaMask, add it, custom token, paste it, and then uh, you should be able to read the custom token. And um, yeah, just connect your hardware wallet or import the private keys to the wallet that you had. But again, this is only possible if you own the private keys to the wallet that you sent it to. So you cannot do this if you've sent it to Kraken or Coinbase or some other exchange because they have your private keys and you're not in possession of it. So thanks for watching and hope this helped.